is doing well and safe and healthy of course. The purpose of this video is to give you a brief history of the United States Space Force as well as the military side of NASA. Never a straight answer. And I am going to take you to a web page to show it's never a straight answer. After I uh, found some information today, I don't need further clarification on what I told you on the nine part series to think what is to come. I just decided to give you some information so while I am gone, I'm leaving Thursday, like I stated, so you can do your own homework. When I receive information from certain individuals, I do not receive files or PDF file or documents. I do not. I believe the reason the information is being leaked out to me and several other people is to use their channels to warn the public. That makes sense to me. Similar to Mike Around the World, Paul Begley's channel on Thursday, which I'm not going to be here and see what Mike Around the World has to say. I encourage you to tune in it's usually on Thursday evening and Mike will that's not his real name he is connected with intelligence I have not talked to the individual I would really like to talk with him but he's releasing some very critical information a number of times Paul Beckley's channel has been cut off when they say certain words but they have not took his channel down. This is the United States Space Force. I did a video on them some time back. And this is a good, a good department. It's a department of the military for the United States. Basically, Space Force means To protect this planet from approaching objects, even negative extraterrestrials. They also have access to a different department dealing with 24 scalar weapon satellites and 24 particle beam weapon satellites, but also they have them on ground base locations. I will show you here in a minute a example. A particle beam weapon satellite is visible to a certain extent, but the scalar weapon satellites, once they're activated on a target, you cannot see it. It is scalar weapon technology. You may want to research that as well. So I'm going to take you to a number of web pages, and I encourage you to write this information down on these 
websites that I'm about to take you to so you can do your own homework when I'm away. I already know this. I don't have to do any homework. I already knew this years ago. They also have another one called Earth Space and Missile Defense. They have approximately three space programs that deals with the military. Some of them you, you're not going to get information on. If you go back and look at the information I put up on Comet 67P, it will state what happened to John Rossi. I'm not going to get into it, but I'll suggest you watch the video. But let's check out a brief summary of NASA. You can go to Wikipedia, which is they have a lot of information. It's a good website. But here, you're going to read a brief history of it. A lot of people don't know, but NASA was established in 1945 as a military division of the United States. You may remember Operation Paperclip. A number of rocket scientists from Germany came in after the war. Von Braun was the leader. He was extraordinarily intelligent. Germany was way ahead of us. And Von Braun was basically involved with the United States military from day one for rockets and missiles and so forth. And then in 1945, they establish the military side of NASA okay here it's 1958 but that is the civilian side keep in mind there's two sides the military and civilian you're not going to get much information from the military but the civilian, they never tell us the straight answer. So let's go to another page. This is from Earth Sky, a really, really informative web site. I suggest you go there as well. And this talks about one of Jupiter's Trojan asteroids has a comet like tail. And I'm going to focus on this area right here. I'm going to blow it up so you can see it. So here's their illustration. This is planet Earth right here and its orbit. Mars, Venus, Mercury, the Sun, Jupiter. This is the Kuiper Belt. Look at the debris film. These are the Trojans. Now, usually, and these are the Greeks, but usually we don't have a problem with the Trojans or the Greeks. But as I stated in the previous video, an object, two objects collided in the Trojans and now it has caused a great disturbance with the Trojan debris field these rocks are going to be coming in because normally they're in an orbit but when they was hit from the outer direction coming in to the Sun this debris field was broken up and this debris field is coming to the Kuiper Belt. And the Kuiper Belt, we don't have a problem, very seldom. If, if some of these rocks collide and push it towards Earth, then we have a problem. But normally, they stay in this regional pattern. But they are going to be disturbed now. And they are going to come in here to the Kuiper Belt and 
they're going to disturb it. We should keep our eye on Mars. Mars has been hit, I don't know how many times, thousands of times, but so has so has other planets over the years. And Gene Shoemaker was the first astronomer that told the United States government there was a debris field that's going to impact Mars, but also Jupiter. Okay. And it's recorded. I don't have time to put that video up, but it shows Jupiter getting hit several times that would have just totally wiped out planet Earth. Jupiter, the king planet, gets hit a lot of times. So many times they don't even report it. Very rarely. A lot of it is small. But the Trojans is what's the debris field that got hit. So I'm going to take you to another website and see what NASA comments about the Trojans. This is an article from Popular Mechanics. NASA is about to study some awful old asteroids. The Trojans are the time capsules from when the solar system was formed. So let's check out the article. Well, I found something that is very, very interesting. NASA will launch a daring mission to explode the Trojan asteroid in 2021. The Trojan asteroids are split into two clusters on the back side of Jupiter. Researchers suspect that these primitive rocky bodies could be some of the oldest objects in the solar system. Look at this right here. NASA will launch a daring mission to explore the Trojan asteroids in 2021. Okay. Let me explain something. There's two sides of NASA, military and civilian. The military is launching their explored mission to release a satellite similar to this one. I don't believe this is the actual one. Okay. They're launching in 2020, October, just in a couple of months. And they are going into the debris field. NASA, civilian side, they're going in 2021. Okay, they're, they're, they'll do that. It may even uh, be televised. But what the military side is going to do in October 2020? No, it's not going to be televised. They don't do that. So here is the information. In October 2021, planet Na NASA plans to launch a rocket to study this unique group of asteroids near Jupiter. Now look at this, the Lucy mission. It's named because a famous ancestor skeleton that was found. You may remember that will explore the origins of life building blocks among some of the most primitive objects in the solar system, the Trojan asteroids. And because of the mission, is one step closer to launch. That is a lot. They already have this on the military side, despite the disaster spread of the coronavirus. Remember what I said about why are they closing the astronomers down throughout the world. This is a lie, ladies and gentlemen. If you think they're going to spend that kind of money on Lucy to go out 
an explorer, the debris field, two clusters of the Trojan. That is a lie. So it upset me when I found this this morning. And I wasn't going to do this video because I'm leaving Thursday. But you can go there. The Trojan asteroids are two clusters of rocky bodies that circle the Sun. Same orbit as Jupiter. Interesting. Here is the path of how the satellite is going to orbit. And I'm going to bring this up in detail in just a moment. But it talks about the spacecraft will map and identify, look at this, key minerals on the asteroid's surface. Remotely probe the interiors and take other detailed observations of the rocky objects. Read the last part. Take other detailed observance of the rocky objects. Lucy will also hunt for asteroids that have rings or even their own moon. I suggest you um, go to Popular Mechanics and look at this this is this is just nothing but a lie nothing but a lie but let's go here and look at this so here's the path it will be leaving planet earth and it will go around the trojans and then months later It'll go around it again. Jupiter. Jupiter comes in. In my information, something came from this direction and slammed into this debris field of the Trojans and disturbed it. Okay? We never have a problem with that debris field. But now we do. And that debris field is going to be broken up and it's going to hit the Kuiper belt and it's coming directly towards us more than likely in 2021 so let me go over I have enough time let me go over two of the asteroids that's approaching this is space in 3d it's a wonderful website and it also has a program that you can track certain objects we're looking at 2018 VP1 which is a pretty good distance 340,000 kilometers away right now but if you want to track these objects this is what I suggest is to go here you can get it on your phone you can put it on your computer and it's free but let's go to jet propulsion laboratory and I want to I want to show you the illustration but before we do I want you to look at this this is a really a good program if you click on to this object which is coming November the 2nd it's only about like I said seven feet in size and um, you can see that it's quite a distance from us right now it's going to orbit and continue its orbit until November and then it will come into the path but this is a this is a good free program and uh, I encourage you to 
learn how to use it and you can put it on your desktop but let's look at the jet propulsion we're going to be looking at 2011 ES4 and 2011 ES4 is 0.32 lunar distance which is basically 90,000 miles and then you have to remember lunar distance is measured from the center of the moon to the center of the earth and earth dimension is basically almost 8,000 miles it's it's 7,900 miles and then half of that is approximately 3,000 400 miles. The moon is 2,158. Half of that is 1,079. A total of 5,037 miles. Just say 5,000 miles. So when you are doing this research, be sure you subtract the 5,000 miles that includes the center of Earth to the center of the moon and then you can calculate your miles and through your lunar distance and see how much you have. So this is Jet Propulsion Small Body Database Browser and this is Category 7. So for new subscribers what that means is 0 to 9. 0 they are definitely confident of the size, the speed and the date of the object approaching seven is not a good number okay uh, nine is really they basically guessing at it but that's the difference on the category and this is the category seven and we're going to go here to the orbit diagram now most of the family here at earth changes channel i showed this to them before. It's a wonderful free program that you can use and the reason I'm doing this video is because I'm leaving for a few days as I mentioned and I'm not going to come back and I'm receiving so many emails from people all around the world and I encourage you to take the time to learn these programs and keep up but as I stated before listen to me I am not worried about this object and you're fixing to see why because it's the debris field please listen to me it's the debris field it's just like 2018 VP4 that object is only seven feet it's probably going to go and come into our atmosphere but it's going to burn up there's a lot of misunderstanding some believe it's about 300 miles but it's going to come in so I can't give you that information because there's several websites that are giving me different uh, close approach approach lunar distance and you can't even look it up to take it to a program like this because it's just too far out right now but on this program you can put in one day this is one hour you can go backwards skip pause skip forward go forward and exit onto the enter the full screen but that's what I'm going to do so I can bring you in and close and show you all how to use this program and what's going to happen with this object so I'm going to put this on one hour and then we're going to zoom in and when you look at it this is the plane right here do not cross that plane because you will it will throw you off actually so this is the plane and right here this shows earth on its horizontal path 
This object is approaching from the south. Okay, if you turn it like that, it looks like it's coming from the top. So these are your indicators right here. And uh, you can play around with it and learn and um, look at it. You can change it in different directions. But let's move this forward and I want to show you how it's coming in. Now, as I stated before, they only see 30% of these objects. So, Earth and the Moon. I'm going to skip forward because the more you zoom in, the faster it goes. See where I'm staying? So, let's look at it a little slower. Okay. It's coming from the bottom. Remember that. I'm going to turn it so you can see it from a different angle. But keep that in mind. Here's the object. Here's the distance. And now you see we're moving away. So, I wanted to show you this program so you can learn to work, work with it yourself. And it's interesting. And you can learn how to change the direction. You can see it's coming from the path. So that the indication is right here. And which the it will cross each other's paths. That right there is approximately closest approach. Okay. If you look at it and play around with it, you can understand how to work the program and you may find it very interesting, fun to play with, but this is not fun. Everything is going to change and it is not going to be fun. Um, I want to show you the closest of this object. And like I said, the category code is seven. Okay. I'm going to back it up. But look at the distance from the bottom, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, just because it comes across that line, that is not the, the actual measurement. The moon is over here in this direction. So there you have it. I want to take time to show everyone because I'm leaving and the jet propulsion as well as other websites they're only going to give you information what comes in okay 
uh, the one that's approaching November the 2nd, that is a long ways off and there's no programs on any of that right now. And I just want to give you the update before I leave. Please do your homework. I will try my best today to answer everyone's emails. I might not be able to answer everyone's posts, especially on this video as well as the previous one that was uploaded. I am so tired ladies and gentlemen, I'll tell you, um, I know your concerns, okay, and most of you have families, and I'm going to try my best to reach out and give you what information I can and if I get any information I will definitely update it but they are coming the debris field is coming pay attention in September in the last week of August as far as October there's a huge debris field of meteors that's totally different Meteors are basically metal, iron objects, asteroids or rocks, comets, it's basically ice. But I know all of you are concerned. I, I'm concerned too. Everything is about to change. I'm doing the best I can to update everyone. But I love you all. Let not your heart be troubled these things must pass it's part of the process and he has gone to prepare a place for us be safe everyone I'm gonna be away for a few days and hopefully I'll be back Sunday much love and thank you